Thank you. I know that was a little awkward, but we'll go on. So, you know, my story can start in so many different, I can tell this story from so many different perspectives. And I think first and foremost, uh, giving respect and homage to my father. He passed away this past August uh, without him and without the sacrifices that he uh, put on his back, carried our family from a war-torn country here to Columbus, grind, grinded, worked 20 hours a day. That was the work ethic that we grew around. And that's something that we, uh, yeah. So one thing led to another. We grew up around convenience stores where you meet the craziest of people, con artists, professors, like save my sister probably two, three times from getting ripped off. And that really taught me how to just interact with any kind of person, really just like listen, hear who they are. And that's where it starts. So anything, whether it's entrepreneurship or friendship or relationships, it starts with listening and hearing people hearing people out, and uh, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard to condense my journey within five minutes, but that was a very, those were very important lessons learned. Flash forward, I made my way to college, and I was like, I dealt with way too many crazy people in convenience stores, I'm gonna get the hell out of here, and I wanted to study medicine, and around that same time, my dad was getting sick, he had diabetes, or what doctors call metabolic syndrome, so my focus shifted towards food systems, and more importantly, or more specifically, uh, like the physiological effect. Like, you know, you see these health food trends growing, and it's happening for a reason because our industrial food system is messed up. The way that we've been eating for the past 20, 30 years is uh, the wrong way. So that was my focus, and. As I went through college, made my way into my senior year, I started realizing it wasn't just about your body or about what you're eating and your personal health outcomes or working with people one-on-one, -on -one, that this is a systemic problem. And, you know, from there, the opportunity to the crest came along. Around the same time that I started thinking along those ways, I was like, okay, medicine is not the way to go. I don't know what it is, but business isn't what drives me. I don't consider myself a businessman to this day, really more so a community organizer. And when the opportunity for the Crest came along, really because my brothers put a lot of work way before I did, you know, while I was in schools, putting my head down into the books, working in a carry out, they were opening up a restaurant where they had no idea what they were doing. You know, you hear that story so many times, whether it's the fusion guy, or, or, you know what his name is, Zach. Anyways, so nobody knows what they're doing. That's, that's really the common thread. That's the common theme. Like, we, nobody here knows what they're doing. Like, you figure it out as you go, and you just have to jump in. And my brothers did that with 4th Street, where we learned how to fry chicken. That's not as good as his, but still, you know. And... So from there, when the Crest came along, that was a great opportunity to showcase how you can use local food systems, how you could use a, a business for a platform for social change. And I say that with really demeaning it from the, the deepest part of my heart. Like, that was the first time that I realized how disorganized local food systems are. Like, we had 14 farmers dropping food off at 14 different times. We had chefs who didn't even know how to source locally, how to really start making everything from scratch. And that's really, you know, similar to Jenny and, and what drove her, it was the craftsmanship, it was those community connections, and those are things that drive us. So that was my introduction into entrepreneurship. And from there, it was, it's, I'm in the middle of it right now, where I'm trying to still figure it out, you know, uh, Christine mentioned that we started a group called the Columbus Growing Collective, and my focus is more food systems. It's not making money, it's not opening up the same concept, which takes a lot of skill. It's more of making this entire local food system cohesive, and this is happening on a national scale. So for me to sit here and say I'm an entrepreneur, yeah, I might have it in me a little bit, but it's more the work ethic. But for me, it's more 
like, a civic engager, a community activist. A, that's what I strive to be, and that's how I try to keep myself authentic. Do I have to focus on the micro details and keeping things uh, efficient, like plastic cups and saving money? Like, absolutely, because that's how we're going to pay our bills. I think when, when Joe mentions you wake up with an elephant on your chest, it's not just because of you, it's because everybody that you're leading, everybody that you're working with. And, but it's really, the most important thing is to wake up every day, stick true to the why, and everything else will follow from there. So uh, that's my journey.